Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. This morning in the chapel we have uh, Joshua 2415, and it is Choose Who You Shall Serve. As for me and my house, we serve the Lord. So, all right, totally hooked. I don't have one, but I'm this close. So, the Geo, um, I think last time I talked to you guys, I had um, decided that I didn't like it the sizes that they said. So I ripped out the trim that I had on there. I, I was to the part, the trim of the square here. And I ripped it out. And I then went and made it bigger. And I kind of like my stuff drapier than. You know, I'm a big girl. I, I don't want anything real tight fitting. <coughs> so, I went back and I put in five rows. There is now 20 rows of the mesh starting from right down here, right here, all the way up. There's 20 rows of this. And once blocked, I think, <laughs> once blocked, I think it'll do good. Um, I'm pulling this. Once you block it, it's not going to be because this will pull up and make it more square and pull these edges in so that it'll be, you know, it'll be blocked. Anyway, but I have both sides done and I have the trim back on. There are a couple of rows at the top and the bottom that I think are decorative. And then there's some around the armholes. And I'm pretty sure I'll have enough because I have this. And then on the second side, I have the same amount. And this one is done as well. So I have this much times two. Um, I have it in a thing. I just took it out so you can see it. Um, when they get small like that, they kind of tend to pull apart. But so I have this one almost done. It, it's like so close to being done. I can taste it. And... <clears throat> I probably will be working on this one today, but I have a couple of other things that have taken up my time too this week, um, and I lost a whole day at work. Anyway, so the other thing that I have been working on is my spinning, and I've been spinning up those three artsy type bats. I have I wanted it inconsistent, and being inconsistent after for years of being consistent is harder than you think okay just saying so i have this one this one and then i've got one bat left and then i'm going to ply them and this is blue and that. so i'm going to ply them and i think if all works out and if i'm happy with the yarn that's my thing is i'm going to make a one of those thin scarfs that's long, I think. I think, don't know. But I'm also thinking that, I don't know, I'm thinking I wanna knit it, but I I may just use my knitting looms. Um, they're super easy and I, I'm not really, it, I just, knitting and me doesn't go together. Two pointy things and one uncoordinated person I just don't, don't know that that's, you know, but I like the look of knitted, so I think I might do it on my looms, which is the reason that I have them. You know, I've got two or three sets, and we used to do knitting looms at the farm all the time. RJ used them consistently, um, so, yeah. There is a third thing that I'm working on, and I'm looking down at it. I haven't gotten very far. I pulled it out of the stuff that is old projects that I need to get done and I started this for RJ years ago and it is a rug <laughs> and when I pulled it out I was half done I have gotten one two three three rows done <laughs> since then um, I just pulled it out a few days ago and I literally it it's been stored so long it just folds itself right up I still have my color. This is what it, and this is the part that is kind of 
that's what it's going to look like. Um, and I still have my color key. Color key. And then, of course, I highlight as I get done with each row. I've thought about just taking one color and being done with that color, you know. Um, but then I'm scared I'll miss spots, you know, or I'll do them wrong, or then I'll have to count, you know, and go back and say, which one is this and which one is that. It's just easier, I think, if I just keep going row by row. So, yeah, we'll see. But I am going to start working on it and get it done. I want to have it done by Christmas. I love this. So, this is the pattern, okay, and this is the thing. And it says right here, start point. See that? Guess what side I started from? <laughs> I don't ever, I never follow the rules, do I? So, anyway, I have this. I do want it done, and I'm hoping to get it done either by his birthday or by Christmas. And then he'll have his thing, and all the colors are in here, all separated and in bags, and I, I was pretty good about keeping it, you know, um, even storing it for all those years. So, this is another one that I'm going to work on and get done. So, those are my three projects going on. The purple one is still in there. Worm ate my stitch markers. Not the ones off the thing, so I've got to go and get some more stitch markers so that I can keep doing my decreases. So I just left it in there. It's amazing to me how, even without thinking about it, when the weather changed, so did my projects. Automatic, when it was cold, I was working on that purple one. That's all I tended to pick up. And there's no reason for it other than me. And then... As the weather got lighter, I went to the Geo, which is lighter. And, and I didn't think about it until we were talking about it the other day. And I was like, I don't know why I do that. You know, and I tend to spin more in the summer because I guess because I don't have to have it on my lap. I don't have to get hot. I don't know. I don't know why I do that. But I do. So, those are the projects that I have. I don't have anything in the pots or anything like that. I haven't dyed anything. And if I don't like that art yarn, the way it comes out, I'm going to over dye it. Just saying. <laughs> <coughs> so, in the fields, um, I guess I'm going to put the ducks in the fields. So, ducks are doing amazing outside. We'll just say in the fields is anything outside. Uh, the ducks are doing amazing. I am losing the eggs to... I believe magpies. It's some kind of bird that's coming down, pecking a hole in it and eating out of the side, just wherever it is. Sometimes I get down there before it gets them, and sometimes I don't. But she is laying an egg consistently almost every day. So, I don't know. I wish she wouldn't lay them. She lays them down by the water. She hasn't made her a nest now keep in mind this is a duck that doesn't really know how to be a duck um it came from a house that had a meth lab in it so the fact that she's out there and she's swimming around she thinks she's creaming the crop i still have to feed her a little bit she gets super excited when i come down with the corn the boys not so much they like to scavenge the pond and get the algae and stuff but her she just, I think she's having too much fun being a duck to think about food. I don't know. So anyway, they're down there. They're doing great. Um, out here in the yard, in my containers, I planted four uh, yellow pepper. I, I They're bell peppers, but they're just yellow. Or sweet peppers. Um, I guess not bell if they're not green. But you get what my point. I'm, I've got yellow peppers out there, sweet peppers. Um, I picked up like four plants for $1.60 something, and then I picked up um, three tomatoes. I'm going to look today when I go out and see if I can't get some strawberries. And I think I'm going to plant like two or three rows of that grow tower in strawberries. The only problem that I have is that, so in Oklahoma, it's 
kind of gardening knowledge that March 15th, and I remember it because it's two days before St. Patrick's Day, so I just say St. Patrick's Day. March 15th is like the date of the last frost. You don't plant anything until after March 15th. Well, I even had a lady come into the office and I was griping because tonight and tomorrow night, it's supposed to dip down to freezing. There's a chance of frost. So I have to cover them up, which I have a plan for that. Um, I've got some in smaller pots because they're still little small plants. So I'm gonna, I've got them in pots this size and when they outgrow it, I'll put them in something different. So I'm gonna move the smaller ones in the garage and then the big pots that I have I'm going to use cottage cheese covers and just cover down over the plants and then I have an old sheet that I'm going to just throw over the grow tower. I'm going to, I've got some skewers and I'm going to stick them in. I'm going to put that sheet over it. I got it covered. That's the thing. But this lady looked at me and she says, don't you know you're not supposed to plant anything after the 15th? And I said, yeah, March 15th. And she goes, yeah. And she says, if you'd have waited till after the 15th, you wouldn't have a problem. I said, March 15th. This is April. She looked at me and she says, oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. So, <laughs> um, I, I can't wait till April 15th. I mean, I'm losing grow time there. And plants have been out in the stores for literally almost a month now. So I waited, I waited plenty long enough because last weekend is when I mowed and I planted those and I took my lavender out of the pots, the containers that they were in. They're still pliable, but they don't seem to be coming back. So I planted them in a corner. <laughs> this is terrible. I couldn't get the lawnmower to go there, you know, fence, couldn't do it. So I, plant, I took my hand and pulled out the weeds and made it look decent and then I planted that lavender in the corner so hopefully we'll have lavender in the corner um, the plan with the lavender is that um, I hope to be able to use it in soaps but we'll see how that goes and then my sage is coming back I think I just need to thin them I think there's a couple that aren't really coming back but I know the tall one is coming back so yeah there's that <laughs> but yeah so I've been doing that and then oh I think that's really all there there was a few things around the house that I did um there I know that you guys have followed along and that you know that this house was packed with furniture when me and roommate moved in here um we started by moving everything out putting it all in the den setting this up and none of the furniture is really roommates or mine it's like roommates grandmas and roommates dads and roommate it, it's everybody else's oops sorry and so one of the things that we had excess of was file cabinets they had everybody else's paperwork in it now these people have passed away it's not like they're going to need <laughs> their paperwork but um we cleaned out there were in the office there was two file cabinets one was a two drawer and one was a three drawer. So we cleaned out the two drawer. It's not empty. And we boxed up. That was his dad's stuff. And we boxed up that stuff and put it in a box and wrote, you know, dad's name on it. And it will be stored for a few more years. And then the three drawer, we gathered up all the booklets from all the electronics that we found. And we sat and went through and this booklet, we couldn't find this one. That one's been gone. We threw it out. Um, if we found an electronics for that booklet, that booklet stayed. If we didn't find an electronics for that booklet, and it's, we're talking stove, washer, dryer, freezer, uh, this little electric fireplace, fans, um, the hand drills that I use, all those DeWalt type hand drills, um, I use them as screwdrivers, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, those, everything that we did for that fireplace, I still have all the books for that. So we filed all of those in, and then roommate needed some place to put tax stuff. So one of the drawers is tax stuff and not my business. So um, anyway, yeah, we did that. 
But the problem is, is I didn't take it in there to show you because it's still sitting in the middle of the floor. We don't know what we're going to do with the file cabinet that we emptied out. So I think it's just going to go out in the shop. <laughs> For now, there's still a lot of stuff stored in that shop because we don't know what to do with it. So, <clears throat> and there's still boxes uh, piled up there and just, it is what it is. But we'll get that stuff out eventually. Um, then, let's see. This weekend we did a lot of running. Roommate had an issue with roommate's bed. Beautiful, beautiful armoire, headboard, footboard, and dresser with a big mirror on its set. And it's too big for the room. And so we went and got just a frame. And here's where we ran into a problem is the bedroom set has 10 inch clearance because it's headboard, footboard, and rails. Well, those rails were at 10 inches. And roommate still wanted the headboard. So, um, we took it all apart, bought just, we went to Sam's and found a frame and it's just a little portable frame. And then we drilled holes and bolted the headboard to it. We took off the little metal clamps so we can always put it back together and it can be sold as a set. We stored the rails in the back room and the footboard. And the problem is, is roommate, the footboard was about this much wider on each side than the headboard. Don't know why. It it didn't look it until we went to moving it around. And then it's like, how so? So the wood stuck out a little bit further. And it was a toe getter. And roommate got up to pee one night and stubbed a toe, which led to roommate falling forward, hitting knee, and ending up with this big bruised swollen leg. So the footboard went and it was replaced with just the headboard and a frame. And one of the things when I was shopping for the frame that we kept looking at was if you wanted it to be, the standard is seven inches and 14 inches. That's what we could find. 14 inches, the legs come out to the edge. And roommate doesn't want a toe getter. But roommate's had enough of that. After that issue, roommate was like, no, I'm done. So the seven inch ones have the legs set back in so they're not on the edge. So yeah, there's clearance for your toes around the bed now. And roommate is very happy. <laughs> so yeah. That happened. Um, then let's see. Um, Tuesday I lost, I was off, but I lost a day of stuff that I was going to do um, because roommate came home early from roommate's job with a migraine. So me and the doggies had to be quiet. That's the first time that's ever happened. So I pretty much just kind of did dishes and sat around and I spun some, I, but I couldn't get out and mow or anything like that. Um, one of the things that I did work on was we had cleared out the sitting areas and I was tired of mowing these squares in between concrete and there literally was paths out front. Um, you can go back and look at the video of that. but. This summer, or this spring, these little grass things have started coming up. And I'm like, I don't know what these are. Well, I pulled one up and they're bulbs. They never bloom. They never flower. They're a grass. Or something. They look like a wild onion or a wild chive. They're not either. But I don't know what they are. And I don't know where they came from. But they're bulbs. And the, the adult bulbs get to be about this big. And then they put out 50,000 little babies. <laughs> And so I've been, um, I sprayed them, but they didn't really seem to die. Um, I don't know. So I've been pulling them up and then we're going to freshen the, the cedar chips out there. If it's not too expensive, everything has gone up. We'll see. 
so did that and then of course last thursday rj was down here you guys did get to see the clip so he also packed the other side so he was here all day but he um fixed we got to take the big hub thing back that cost almost 200 dollars. he didn't need that because he got the bearing off then he got everything put back together he packed the new bearings redid it put it all together and then he stayed for a little bit extra time and did the other side the other side was not as bad but i told him i said you're here if one's wearing out the other one is he took it off and it was metal to metal so we went and got the parts and did the other side where he just had to replace the bearings and re, you know repack them replace them and that side didn't take two hours if that hour and a half so we had a nice day with dinner and mechanicking and just and i'd take him out a drink and a candy bar kind of like old times it made me feel good but anyway so he got that done thursday he's going to come by today and hopefully bring me um my spring stuff i didn't i haven't decorated for spring or easter in a couple of years well we didn't have the, a way to you know i mean we've been working on the house and there was stuff everywhere but um so he's supposed to bring me this spring stuff today and we'll see but he's been doing okay uh much better now that he's got a truck up and running on the white truck we're still waiting on a part still waiting on that part so we'll see um they got another he said as soon as that parts in that guy's like i will get on it and get it put back together and it's all good so they just need that one part um other than that i think that's really uh all that's been going on you know you saw rj oh at work i made a little movie and i'll probably post it here but not until i unveil it to the office it is about worm and he's got this little backpack at work and so he can run stuff he, he gets bored behind the counter and so all of us let him run a message here or take that here and normally we walk with him you know we'll put his little backpack on him put something in the backpack and then i'll walk him and i'm like worm has something for you well this week we um made a little movie about worm the worm the wonder intercom <laughs> and so it's really cute um but i am not unveiling it until uh our monthly meeting which is next wednesday this is thursday so it's exactly a week away so next week you'll get to see oh excuse me i don't know where that came from i'm not tired uh when i unveil that the next week i will post that for y'all to see because it's super cute and everybody in the office got into it um there wasn't not one person there's a, a part-time girl that is still in school and she was in school when we did it so she's not in it and then our groomer was not in it of his own choice so he yeah he's like i'm not doing that I said okay <laughs> but the rest of us did so we all have clips with it um it's fun you don't actually see me in it but you hear me in it because i'm the camera person number one so i took all the other little clips of everybody and then i load warm up and drive him to work so yeah can't really be in that when you're doing it and the clip is super short so yeah it is what it is but that will be unveiled next week other than that i've just been working around here today i'm doing laundry um like i said tuesday we had to be really quiet so i sat and i read and did just some little things not anything that would make any noise like i said we've never had that happen where a roommate had a migraine and we had to be quiet but the dogs did good and i did fine you know i found other stuff to do i couldn't do a whole lot but i couldn't mow so i'll get that done today but other than that i think that's all i have for you guys today um rj was down my projects the plants that have to be covered um doing the thing weeding the thing and then the file cabinet i think that's about it so 
All right, I'm going to let you guys off here, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great week. Bye.